Hey, it's Lee here again with Dispute B. In the last video, we showed you how to import your credit report into Dispute B. So in this video, we're going to show you how to generate letters that you can send to the debt collectors as well as the credit bureaus. So if you click on collections here, you're going to see a list of all of the collections on your credit report. When it comes time to dispute these, it's really simple. You don't have to sift through all of this information on your own. On the left side of the screen, there's a button here that says Disputes. So you're going to click on that, and this is the Disputes section. Now, you'll notice up here at the top, there's a Basic and an Advanced section. I would recommend for most users that you stay in the Basic section. So to start a new dispute, there's a button in the top left that says New Dispute. And when you click on it, you'll get an option to either dispute collections on your credit report or inquiries. For this video, we're going to start with Collections. So click Collections and then click Next. Here you're going to see a list of all of the collection accounts on your credit report. And on the right here, you're going to see three checkboxes for TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax for every collection account. The boxes will be grayed out if that particular collection account isn't listed at one of the particular credit bureaus. And that can happen if the debt collector chose not to report that account to one or two of the credit bureaus because sometimes they don't report the accounts to all three. So to start a dispute, you're going to decide which accounts you want to dispute. And in this case, we're going to choose these top three here from this collector called Alliance Collections. And there's a, a drop-down box here that says Reason. For most people, you're going to choose Unverified Account unless you know a different reason that you're disputing this account. Unverified Account means that the account has not been proven to be verified. And that's oftentimes how you're going to get something removed from your credit report. If the credit bureau or the collector cannot verify that the collector has the legal right to collect that debt from you, then they have to remove it from your credit report. So for this reason box, I would recommend just leaving it set on unverified account. So for these three collections here, I'm going to dispute it with all three credit bureaus. So you're just going to check all of these boxes, and then you're going to click next. And you'll see some instructions here for what you're going to do next. It's really simple. We're going to automatically generate letters for you, and you're going to download them. After you download them, you're going to print them, and after you print them, you're going to put them in the mail. It's that simple. So click this button that says Create Disputes Now, and you can see we've generated four letters. There's one being sent to Equifax, one to Experian, TransUnion, and the fourth one is being sent to the actual collector. So let's open one of these letters up and see what it looks like. This is the letter that's being sent to Equifax. You can see it already has your personal information entered like your name and your address, your social security number and your date of birth and so on. And it's also been pre-addressed to Equifax. And you can see the three accounts that we chose to dispute are already on this letter. So you don't have to edit it at all. If you want to make some edits, you can do that here, but you don't have to. This letter is ready to send as is. So if we look at Experian, the letter for Experian, this is the same letter, but this is just addressed instead to Experian. And there's another letter for TransUnion and one for the collector. So let's look at the collector letter. This letter looks a little bit different, but as you can see, this one is pre-addressed to the actual collector. And notice we already have the address. You don't have to go and hunt down that information yourself. So once again, all of these letters are ready to be sent as is. You don't have to edit them. You don't have to do anything else. You can just print them out and mail them. Printing them out is simple. If I want to print all of these at the same time, just click this checkbox to select them all and click the print icon. This is actually going to download them. So let's choose single PDF and you'll see what happens. You get a single PDF file that has all of your letters. So you can see here's the letter for Experian. Here's the letter for TransUnion. Here's the letter for Alliance Collections. 
And here is the letter for Equifax. So there you have your four letters ready to be mailed out. You can just print this PDF and then you address four separate envelopes, put your letters in them. One extra thing you're going to want to do is provide the credit bureaus with a copy of, of some type of identity proof. Most commonly, that's going to be uh, a picture of your license and a picture of a utility bill. And this is because, again, the credit bureaus just require you to provide this information so that they know when they get a letter that says it's being sent from, from you with your name and your address on it, they just need proof that you're actually the person sending it and, and it's not somebody uh, you know, that's pretending to be you or something like that. So after you have sent those letters in the mail, um, you're going to want to come back here and there's this little icon here that kind of looks like a send button and if you click on that that's going to mark this letter as being sent you don't want to do that until you, after you've actually put that letter in the mail and sent it and this is an important step because in order to continue using dispute B you need to mark the status of each letter as being sent because then once you get a reply we're going to know which letters you've sent and which letters you haven't sent and then we'll know what letters to uh, further generate when you did send follow-up letters. So if I had actually sent all these letters in the mail I would select all of them and I would click this little send icon button. And now all of these letters will show up when you click on this sent tab. Here they all are. And after that point you don't have to do anything more with these letters. Once you receive a reply, we're going to cover the details of what you'll do in a further video, but again, it's going to be really simple. There's a button here at the top that says received reply. You're just going to click on it and follow the directions, but again, we're not going to cover that in this video. We just wanted to get you up to speed on generating your first round of letters and get them sent in the mail. So that covers it. In our next video, we're going to cover a few more details about sending your letters, so we would recommend watching the next video before you actually send these letters in the mail, and, and then you'll be ready to go. If you need to, let's say you accidentally marked a letter as sent and you need to undo it, well, you can do that with this little undo icon. It says mark unsent. So if I click that, this letter is going to be back in the unsent area. So that's just in case you accidentally sent it or you accidentally marked it as being sent when you actually hadn't sent it yet. If you have any questions, make sure you send us um, a support request. You can click on this little blue chat bubble in the bottom right to get a hold of us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and good luck with sending your first round of letters.